Well, we've been arguing about pronouns here in the United States and wondering why two by fours now cost $9 a piece. There's real drama unfolding in Europe. Tensions between Ukraine and Russia are the highest they have been in a very long time. And we get some sense that there are political elements, mostly in the Democratic Party, not exclusively though, who would like to see a war in Europe. What is this and how concerned should we be about it? Tulsi Gabbard has paid a lot of attention to this. She's a former member of Congress from the state of Hawaii. We're happy to have her on tonight. Congresswoman, thanks so much for coming on. So it, thanks, is Secretary. this conflict moving toward war and are there leaders in this country who would like to see that, do you think? It is moving in a very dangerous direction. And the question for the American people is, are we willing to go to war with Russia on behalf of Ukraine? And we need to understand that such a war would come at a cost beyond anything that we can really imagine. Because this is not a war that, that is just, okay, this is going to be something that's happening to someone else somewhere else on the other right. side of the world. No, this is something that will directly impact me and you, Tucker, every single one of your viewers and all of our loved ones. And this is, this is a, a war that is not a game. It's a war in which... There are no winners because you've got, you know, thousands of nuclear weapons that the United States has aimed towards Russia. Russia has thousands of nuclear weapons aimed towards us that could hit any town or city in America in less than 30 minutes and exact a cost upon every one of us that would result in excruciating death and suffering beyond comprehension. Hundreds of millions of people dying and suffering, seeing their flesh being burned from, from their bones. This is something that, that, that you, know, you can't really even imagine. Uh, and, and it's a cost that, that we will all pay. Why in the world would we ever contemplate going to war with Russia, honestly? It, it is one that we should not do. <laughs> For those very reasons, yeah. if you look at the the impacts of what a nuclear war brings, it really brings about the end of the world as we know it. And our leaders should understand this consequence and take it seriously. And this is why President Biden, instead of continuing to escalate tensions and continuing this new Cold War between the United States and Russia, he needs to de-escalate these tensions, kind of, you know, t take the heat out of it and actually focus on bringing an end to this new Cold War. Because if he doesn't, then it's not a question of if we go to war with Russia, if this war ends up with a, with a nuclear holocaust. It really is then just a question of when. And if we continue down this path that we are on, it's something that could happen a lot sooner than any of us think. I'm just amazed by the magnitude of the stories that all of us are missing, including those of us who are paid to follow this stuff, and, and especially this story. And so I appreciate how you so crisply and wisely assessed that. It's, it's terrifying. Thank you. Tulsi Gabbard of Hawaii joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you.